Well, it began with a hike in the highlands of Cape Breton and a mysterious discovery. Paul Chasson thinks that discovery could change history, although some others are skeptical. So what did he find? The former professor thinks he's got evidence of an early settlement well before the Europeans, an early Chinese settlement. The CBC's Tom Murphy has the story. But we can all make it. Paul Chasson is on a quest for answers. This first part of the hike is difficult, so we're going to go slowly. On a hike deep in the Cape Breton Highlands, the former Yale professor of architectural history made a puzzling discovery. Stones don't line up in a, in a perfect line along the side of a road without some hands picking them up and then putting them there. And my issue was, well, who did that? A question and, uh, that persisted as he climbed the nine-kilometer road. More unexplained discoveries, a peculiar pile of rocks. There's a cut line going up here, parallel to the outer edge. There's a second cut line here drawn with a sharp object, and it matches this angle here. And then he found this. Again, I knew something might be up here. From Ruins, he believes, of an ancient settlement. The CBC is the only media outlet to get a first-hand look at the site. There's some things that appear to be built into the into the hillside. So you've got a, a rectangle here. You've got what appears to have been another structure here. In his research, he came across a 1929 aerial photograph of the site with a distinct outline. From the aerial photo, what you can see is that we're now walking, I think, on the top of the remains of the stone wall. Has all of this been overlooked or misunderstood? In two years of detailed research, Chaisson could find no one laying claim to the road or the ruins. And when he looked to the Mi'kmaq for answers, he saw the Chinese influence in the Mi'kmaq dress, for example. Put it all together, and his theory? These stones speak in a very specific way, a non-European way, that this was a, a very large Chinese settlement, well before the coming of Europeans. That's before Christopher Columbus and John Cabot, a controversial version of history. But some suggest Chinese explorers were more advanced. They navigated the world in flotillas of hundreds of ships, decades before Europeans. The records of discovery destroyed by a new emperor who opposed exploration. But were the Chinese in Cape Breton? Many, many things are possible, but is it probable? I would say no. This professional archaeologist says it's more likely an old logging road or a forgotten European settlement. I think some of it is naturally occurring, and the archaeological features, I think there are many more plausible explanations. And they built earthen walls on top of that. And of course Still, Shea Saw has presented his findings to the United States Library of Congress, and he's written a book. I'm more than happy to, for someone to come up and say, no, it was built by the Irish in 1820, or built by the French in... 1750, but none of that seems to be the case historically. Both Chiesan and archaeologists agree that the site should be studied to test a theory that, if true, would turn world history on its head. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Cape Dauphin, Nova Scotia.